Now you may be grossed out by bugs, but did you know that many of them are actually beneficial to the environment? Truly Nolan's Anthony Molina is here to explain which bugs we can be thankful for, and he's also going to give us some key reminders for Thanksgiving, even if you're doing something a little bit different at home this year. Anthony, great to have you back. Thank you for having me again. So which, which bugs are beneficial to the environment and why should we be thankful for them? Well, one of the biggest ones that I, I'm hopeful everybody knows about is the, uh, the European honeybee. Um, the bee itself is one of our biggest pollinators uh, across the entire world. Aside from wind, bees are the biggest ones that pollinate uh, wax, honey for humans that we can consume. Uh, but they also make sure that the, the rest of the uh, ecosystem is, is continuously moving with the pollination of a lot of plants. We also have moths and butterflies. Yes, certainly great. Humongous, they're a humongous aid to not only the uh, the food chain, but they also are secondary pollinators behind uh, bees. Last but not least is the ladybug. Uh, I would say that the ladybug is the protector of the garden. You know, in, in most cases, a lot of people think uh, of the ladybug as a tight, tight, a tiny, cute little insect. But um, in most cases, they were used in lieu of pesticides in crop fields to protect uh, the plants from a lot of uh, dangerous crop eating pests. So butterflies and ladybugs, you know, certainly don't usually become a problem, but bees might. So what do we do when they do become an issue? Well, they can become aggressive. You know, uh, once they have the chance to establish a colony, they're, they're gonna protect it. They're gonna protect home just like we would. So um, that's when you definitely wanna get a professional involved. If you uh, see bees going in and out of a cavity or a small tiny hole, they've most likely had a chance to set up shop Right now, we're seeing a huge increase in them. Uh, they're looking for sugar. They're looking for sugar water. Uh, so you will see bees looking around trash cans, um, hummingbird feeders, or soda cans that you may have sitting out on the back patio. Well, your company, too, is known for educating children about insects, you know, the good ones, the bad ones. What are some of the ways that you're educating them early on to know the difference? Well, a lot of our good bug, bad bug presentations are uh, what we just talked about, you know, the bees, ladybugs, um, butterflies and moths. And then we also have the kids do some cool interactive school projects where they get to create some of those insects and either draw them out, create them with arts and crafts. Um, but we educate them also with the bad bugs, right? What do we not want to get near? What do we want to stay away from? When do we need to make someone aware that there's something that shouldn't be there? So a lot of our school presentations are focused around the, th the things that benefit us and the things that when, when it's an issue, we need to bring it up. Right. And, you know, with uh, you know, the holidays are here, there's a lot of cooking going on. There are pests that can take advantage of that uh, if you don't clean up properly. Right. So what are some tips that you have for people to avoid leaving some uh, food, some trails that bugs are just going to find irresistible? Well, you know, this year is going to be a little bit different for everybody. Uh, some families may be eating outdoors. Some uh, may not be going to visit other family members. So may mean more meals inside the home, uh, may also mean more meals being served outside the home. Uh, uh, quick cleanup is also is always the best method. Um, but if you do happen to see uh, an increase in ants or an increase in roaches, which can sometimes be invited in when there's a little extra food left around, uh, making sure that you have it all cleaned up before you go to sleep at night. Um, and making sure that outside all the trash is in the trash. You know, it's, uh, it's a big attractant for food to be out in the open. And uh, if ants, which is gonna be dying down here a little bit, but because of the temperature, they're still active. So we expect to see them during Thanksgiving. We expect to see them outside. So just make sure you have everything cleaned up before you, uh, before you exit and go back in, indoors. You know, a lot of people think they can take a do-it-yourself approach to pest control. And, and, you know, sometimes, a lot of times, that just doesn't work properly. So what, what would you say to them why it's important to call pros to get this done? Well, you know, a lot of the times when uh, you, you, you self-medicate or you do anything where you're treating the house by yourself, uh, a lot of the pesticides are designed to be overused, right? Uh, the pros know exactly how much needs to put down. And it's not always more is better. It's knowing what type of pest you're dealing with, knowing their biology, how they work, and then knowing how to affect that biology, whether it's by food source or where they live. And that's what we study. That's what we, uh, that's what we master in is knowing how the pest work and knowing where we can stop them so that way we get quick results. That's why you want to get a, pro a pro professional involved. And 
in some cases, the do-it-yourself approach is uh, not always the best, me best method. You could have some serious reactions to some of the chemicals out there. So always be careful and read the label. Right. And, you know, those pros do it with a smile, and they're always very kind, and they do a great job. Anthony Molina, as always, thanks for joining us. Thank you. For more information on anything we just discussed, visit trulynolan.com or call 800-GO-TRULY. And be sure to visit kgun9.com slash home pros to find more information about Truly Nolan and other trusted vendors that are the very best in residential and commercial home services.